A few months ago when I first got this Vetus Mythique, I got a comment from one of my subscribers that said I should really get a four piston front brake. And I thought that was a great recommendation, but then upon looking around, I didn't find any four piston front brakes that were in stock and a reasonable price. That was until on Pinkbike, I found a used Dior XT front caliber four piston for $30. The only problem is the seller said that one of the pistons is cracked. So in order to make this work, I'm gonna have to replace all four pistons, something that I've never done before. So hopefully we can make this work. Let's go ahead and get started. There's really nothing online that says how to do this. I found one video where a guy was using a water syringe and pushing that into the caliber, but that didn't work for me. It didn't have enough pressure in the caliber to push out the piston. So I was left scratching my head. I had absolutely no clue what to do. After scouring the internet, I found on MTBR that someone was using an air compressor to get out the air piston. So then I tried to use this needle that's used to pump up balls for your bike pump. That wasn't going into any of the valves. I couldn't get a good seal, so that was wasn't working. Ah, I think we found our leak. That's definitely some mineral oil coming through. And it looks like the three other pistons are fine. What really changed the game is this IFP adapter valve that I use on my RockShox rear shock rebuild. Luckily the caliber had the same thread as the rear shock and I just threaded this right on and plugged up some of the holes and I could use my air compressor to easily just shoot this piston right out of it. There was so many broken ceramic shards in this piston. I was shocked. Let me know in the comments down below if you know how a piston gets broken like this. I picked up this replacement four piston rebuild kit for $42 off Amazon. It looks like the cost of a Dior XT caliber four piston is about 110 to $120. So with me picking up this caliber for $30 and the replacement pistons for $42, that puts me at 72 bucks, which is a lot cheaper. And also I had a lot more fun doing it. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do all of the pistons because the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm not really sure the tolerances of these replacement pistons that come from China. So if all the other pistons are still working good, what's the point of replacing all of them at the same time? Let me know in the comments down below if I should replace the three other pistons or if I should just keep it as is. The caliber that I bought didn't come with any brake pads. I'm sure those brake pads were ruined anyway because of the mineral oil that was leaking all over them because of the cracked piston. So I was able to go to my local bike shop and they had these aftermarket brake pads for $15. So we'll see how they work out. I hope they work just as good as the Shimano brake pads, but I'm not gonna hold them to it. They said the replacement Shimano brake pads were gonna be like $50 or something. I gotta interrupt this video because I have some exciting channel news. I've decided to open up a PO box. That way, if you wanna send me any bike parts for a future build, I'll take used, unused, and I'll even take broken parts just like this race face turbine dropper, which needs a rebuild and is not functional right now, but that's for a future video. I'll leave the PO box right here on the screen and it will also be on my channel about section. It would help me continue to grow the channel and it would help me with content ideas and it would be greatly appreciated. Now back to the video. This rotor is the 203 millimeter Magura rotor, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It was about $30 on Amazon. This thing is so huge. I'm really liking this blue adapter to use the 203 millimeter rotors. I feel like it adds a little bit of flair, and in case you haven't noticed, I've been adding some blue touches to this bike. Oh. 
getting a killer deal on bike parts and having to repair them and get them functional again is something that I love doing. And plus you're also building knowledge. And that's exactly what you're doing by watching this video. We've been learning together on how to do these really in-depth bike repairs, something that people actually go to school for. But since you're choosing to watch my videos, you're getting all this in-depth bike repair knowledge for free. There's definitely a bigger picture here for this channel. And it's not just entertaining bike upgrade videos, it's free knowledge. And I think I'm gonna keep rolling with this. So let me know what you guys think. The mineral oil also had a ton of contaminants and the color was no longer clear, bright red. So I'm glad that I did a full bleed. And plus I did inject a ton of air into the system. Well, that's it for today's video. I couldn't quite make it out to the trail to test this out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.